Ra 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 ra. Hey, what's up, guys? Mike here, Entrepreneur Army. I got to set up my uh, metering system. It's leaking on my motor, and I got Brooklyn attacking my socks right now. But anyway, we got to sort out some of this junk back here. Um, Merry Christmas to everyone. Hope you guys had a good one. The New Year's coming up. Hope you guys have a good New Year as well. So we'll get some of this stuff sorted out back here. Just want to check in. Had a couple days off getting stuff organized in the uh, in the yard. You know what I'm saying? So check it out. Here's another cool um, trick. So with the customer factor. Uh, let's see here. Right now I have this message. All right. So it says, hi, percentage, first name, percentage. Just wanted to reach out and wish you and yours a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. We are very grateful for you. Sincerely. And then it says, Mike and the crew at Olin's Pressure Washing. And it's got, I checked, all I had to do was check all of my customers. And these guys are all checked. So you can do this with email or text and I already did this, so I'm not going to send it again, but I just click send and boom, it off it goes off to all the customers. Um, also you can change it up to, you can, you know, like there's a limited time special appointment reminder, um, or you can create a new one and save it. So every holiday, so what I'll do is, um, happy new year I could do. Just wanted to reach out and wish everyone a, or wish you and yours a happy new year. Boom. You can say whatever, and what it's cool is because it has this percentage first name. So if you were a customer, it would have your first name. And it looks very personal. It's just a good way to do it. And you just hit send. So another good reason why the customer factor is the way to go. We may have some leakage going on right here. So I'm noticing what's going on. What the problem is, is my motor for my electric reel is right there. That black cylinder looking thing right here. That's my motor for the electric reel. All right. So if I have any leaks coming off of this, which I know I do, and I don't know exactly where it's coming from, so what I'm going to do is take this uh, proportioner apart, and um, figure out where this leak is. What I'll probably do is just take all these off, and re-true uh, blue them, or whatever you call it, that blue goo stuff. So, I'll show you a clip of what it is. But I'm going to redo all the connections. I did a live video about this before. But just SH running through this all the time. You got to change it every once in a while. Um, I think that's probably where it's leaking right here. So we'll do that. Alright, this is the stuff I use. Yeah, True Blue from Recto Seal. Pipe thread sealant. Vibration resistant. So it dries... And it's got like a flexible feeling to it. So that's why this stuff's pretty good. We just got this tree chopped down over here. It was dropping these little fruits. These little fruits in Brooklyn. Well, mainly Brooklyn, not Gia. But she keeps eating these little balls. So I tried to clean it up best I could. The tree was right there. We got to remove. Now I got all this extra room in my lot for all my uh if i get another trailer another truck back here i'll have more room so that's the plan i gotta get this stuff cleaned out this is uh my spare setup i got some new hose some soft wash hose that'll go there and i got a pressure hose i can put on there and then that's my old four gallon a minute. That's that's what it started it all. That's just a DI tank. It's got DI resin in it. Basically, to make uh, make it simple, you could put 
garden hose right up to this it goes through comes out pure water zero TDS so yeah works pretty good then I got just some snot manade uh, red raider what's that Gia red rainer red rainer red rainer red rainer Gia 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 Snotmanade. She likes that snotmanade. Oh yeah, by the way, this stuff ended up working pretty good. So that one house, I burnt the grass a little bit. And like I said, um it's uh not it wasn't a big deal. The homeowner didn't even really care. He was just telling me as kind of like, hey, I just want to let you know. You know, some other people might get upset about this. And I was like, you're absolutely right. I'm really sorry. So I went out there and I put some of this on the lawn. And he said it actually worked. So, Dr. Earth Super Organic Lawn Food. If you ever get some orange burns. And it just also is good to show that you care about your clients. This fan works pretty good too for paver sealing. Not the biggest fan of this. Uh, not the biggest fan of this stabilizer the stabilizer i like is the reason why i this is good is because it'll fit on like a a gorilla type ladder so that's why i like that and then but my favorite stabilizer is that type right here it's like compression fitted so you have to squeeze these two together like they got to squeeze together and you poke them in the holes and then the, the, the you know the friction of it wanting to open back up it stays on so you have to kind of push them in and pull out at the same time but they they usually work pretty good come here brooklyn come here what are you eating come here come on come here brooklyn come here sit Sit. Give me paw. See, she's eating those. Give me paw. Uh-uh. Ah, ah. Ah, god dang, man. They bite hard as shit. Brooklyn, sit. Sit. Give me paw. Sit. Give me paw. Sit. Give me paw. Come on. Sit. Give me paw. Sit. Give me paw. Other paw. Good girl. Paul, Gia. Gia, give me paw. Oh, good girl. They haven't killed each other yet. Here's the old uh, proportioner. Hey, man, these work too. You know what I'm saying? They're not the best. I think one of these broke. But, um, like I said, I'm going to be setting this whole rig up again as a backup. When I send the guys out in the in the uh, skid, so I'll I'll be rolling with this again. I'll get a new pickup truck, and I'll maybe put this on for a minute. I'll probably just order new GF valves, but um, those of you just getting started. Uh, this also works. So get yourself a three-way valve um like this and you got to have check valves but you put this in your sh tank and you put the other line right here this line put that in your water tank and then send this line to your 12 volt or air diaphragm whatever and if you go like this it pulls from the sh if you go like which is this line so it'll pull from this line and if you go like this, it'll pull from your water tank. And if you do it, if you put it in the middle, it'll draw from both. So you can clean roofs with this thing. My tie back's in the way. Just had a tube coming out into the metering system. And I got a line going into my water. And you just put a three-way ball valve. Here's another question I got for you guys. Should I? Take that box off and put another machine on there. 
I really could use another machine. So if I took that box off, I could fit two machines. I could put even a, uh, a Pressure Pro Honda or I could build another Predator engine, put it right there. And I mean, I do keep a lot of stuff in here, but really don't need much stuff. All I need to do is just bring some Snotmanade and a good gutter cleaner because a gutter cleaner can work as a degreaser too. You know what I mean? So you could use that as a degreaser. You could even carry a little bit of this. And then, you know, carry yourself some aluminum brightener. And you got everything you need, really. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. If I need to, you know, I might take this box off, put another machine on. Oh, yeah. So, that group. Do you believe this? A group on Facebook blocked me for no reason. Uh, Power Wash Community Group. For no reason, they blocked me. It's kind of strange. But, it's what it is.